Hello, Chad Otterstrom, Academy Snowboards, the most unprofessional professional you'll ever meet in your life. Welcome to today's Monday video, where I talk anything and everything snowboarding, mostly pertaining to Academy Snowboards. Of course, today I'm going to show you guys how I tune the edges on my snowboard. There's plenty of different ways you can tune your edges. Jib tune, race tune, half pipe tune, slope style tune, free ride tune, powder tune, which is just like, just make sure they're smooth and you're ripping powder. But anyways, before I get into too much detail, I'm going to tell you about our edges at Academy Snowboards. We make our snowboards at the Never Summer Factory in Denver, and what I like about our edges that make them better than the rest of the world is they put a slight rubber dampening around the edges on the inside, or a, a layer of rubber, I guess you should say. And what that does is it not only makes your board ride smoother, but it holds the base, edge, and sidewall all together, so you're never going to get an edge pull. If you look at your board midwinter, if you if it's not made at the Never Summer Factory in Denver, there's going to be gaps, it's going to be moving, which is going to affect your side cut. And potentially, even if you hit a rock or a stump or a tree or whatever, your, your edge could pull out. And at Academy Snowboards, we like to say buy nice or buy twice. So you're never going to buy twice with us. You're only going to buy nice. So I'll get into how I tune my edges. Like I said, there's a bunch of different styles of how you can tune your edges, much like stances. You know, there's race stance, half pipe stance, slope style stance, jib stance. Same goes with the tune. I like your basic overall pretty sharp tune with a little bit of a bevel. And I use these three tools um, when, I, when I tune my edges. And like I said, I'm an unprofessional professional. So if you don't agree with what I'm saying, please leave that in the comments and I will take that not to heart with uh, you know, constructive, constructive criticism. As well as if you think what I'm doing is cool, please leave that in the comments below. Like, subscribe. I uh, made a, uh, a video on stances last week, so I'll leave a link for that at the end of the video as well. Um, but either way, like I said, I use these three tools, and if you get done riding, uh, just to start out, when you get done riding for a day, go ahead and feel the side of your edges, and you're going to feel some burrs, especially if you went and rode all day. And what you need is this gummy stone. And what you do with this gummy stone is you just kind of rub it along the edge. And that will get rid of all the burrs. And like I said, again, I'm an unprofessional professional. If you want a true, real tune and you live in Colorado, go to Mono Sarah Tunes in Dillon and Chip or Ryan will tune your board extremely professional and give you strict advice from a paid professional, not an unprofessional professional. But I've been tuning for a while. I've front boarded rails in cities and in not in cities, in parks too. Kinks at that. Uh... Um, I've ridden half pipes at the highest level. I've ridden slope style courses at the highest level. I've ridden powder at the highest level. So, um, and I've been tuning my board since high school, which is 30 plus years ago. So stress on that. Anyways, so you should maybe listen to me a little bit. Anyways, so those, those birds are all gone and I've already actually done this. That's why I've cut some of my hand. So the birds were gone before I did it, but I was just explaining to you how to do that. So. That's all you need there. Easy enough. And the next tool you're going to need is this big old fatty uh, file that you can get from a Home Depot. These are the best. Make sure they're good and sharp. Uh, and what I like to do with these is to put a bevel on the top of my, or the base of my board, which means your edge doesn't go, bay, isn't on the level of your base. It goes down a little bit. So if you get on a rail, you're not straight into the edge. You're kind of like on a little sled feeling, but when you level up, a little bit, you're going to be on edge, which makes going to make your board ride smoother either way. And the way I like to do that is I like to just put my finger. This is all by feel. Like I said, I've been doing it for years. And you just go to do a start a little grind, and you can feel that it's working. If you're going the wrong way, you'll feel like it's not working. And I like to do a long swoop, and that's just sort of like... And by as you can see, by putting your finger here, it creates a little angle. And this is, this is an am, not an amateur move. This is a professional amateur move, um, if that makes sense. And you kind of do that. And you can see your edge after a day of riding. And you can see the scuff marks in it. And when you do this, you can see it smoothing out. And that's a key factor. And to that edge. So... And when you do it, you feel it, and you're like, damn, that could like slice my finger open. And that means you're doing pretty good. And I like to do that on the other side. Obviously, you want to do both sides. It's very important that you, you don't want just one edge. And 
and you can feel a little drag and that's just from you know riding your board you want to get all that you can see down your edge too you're going to see scuff marks on it and you want to have a really clean edge when you're done with this It's working, I can see. Yeah, I mean, that's looking pretty good. Now those edges are feeling very, very sharp, but the sides of them kind of st still feel a little scuffy. So that's why I like this little bevel tool. And this you can either do 90 degrees or 88 degrees, and I obviously like, I want to have that 88 degrees because I want to ride half pipe, so I want to have that little extra edge. I would imagine a jibber might, you know, might want to be that grabby. But, and you can feel, these, these things have arrows on them. Obviously I was going the wrong way right there, and you can feel if it's the wrong way. Um, so 88 degrees with the arrow that way. You can get these things at a tune shop. You can get them at a snowboard shop. You can get them online. Um, just right. Or you can watch other YouTube videos on how to sharpen your edges, but this is the coolest one. So, um, like I said, there's plenty of different ways you can tune your edges. If, if you're a jibber, you can just get like a, a grinder and just grind them off. And, but if you're like a jibber at Troll that wants to carve on the way to the park, you know, at Troll Hogging, you want to have sharp edges on the way to the park. So this is a great, great one because you can jib the park and carve on the way. I know a lot of snowboarders that just like use raw edges straight out the wrappers. I don't like that anymore. I used to be like that. But now I like to tune my edges right out of the way because the factory tune is not is always just a pretty basic 90 degree tune. Um, this is more of a little razor sharp knifey tune. You can also, uh, Joey Vosberg tip, take a uh, file and file down your sidewall, which is gonna make it more sharp and knifey when you turn. Snowboards used to be made cap snowboards back in the day. And uh, that made them very nike and good in half pipe, but they didn't really ride good outside of that. So this is going to make your board ride smooth. Or filing your sidewall will make your board knife like a cap board, but smooth like a sidewall board. And these, this plastic thing is going to scuff up your, your base a little bit, but... You know, for the most part, when you wax that and uh, and ride it, it's just going to, like, buff out pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah, right now, my edges are perfectly smooth. I don't see any scuffs. They look like brand new edges. They're razor sharp. Like I said, I cut my thumb open practicing for this video. And there is one last tip that I will give you is the edges on the contact points. Go to the, all of the contact points. You don't want them to be very sharp right after that contact point because when you turn and the snow hits, you don't want that grabbing and pulling you. You want to have a smooth transition on your turn. So what you do is you look down that contact point and right as it bubbles in and goes up or bows back towards your nose, you want to take the file and just kind of do a quick detune. It's called detuning your edges. And you want to do that on all four corners. You can feel it grinding. And then you can, when you go like that, you can feel there's, you're pulling off the sharpness. This is just going to make your board ride smoother. And like I said, again, and I'm going to say it over and over again, I'm an unprofessional professional, but I've won contests with the best of them, ridden powder with the best of them, 
hit uh, hit rails with the best of them. So, you know, maybe listen to me. See you guys on the next Monday video. Thank you. I appreciate you watching Academy Snowboards. Chad Otterstrom. Have a good day.